Hello, I'm James Harvey, the professor of music theory at the College of Southern Nevada with 5-Minute Music Theory. Start that timer, and this video is going to cover simple meter. So first, let's talk about that term meter and what it means. Meter is the term that we use for a recurring pattern of strong and weak beats. And if you remember, beats are units of measurement of time in music, or uh, sometimes referred to as counts. And meter is a pattern of strong and weak beats. Sometimes beats can be considered strong, sometimes they can be considered weak, and the meter is the organization of these beats. Now simple just has to do with how many beats there are um, in each occurrence of this pattern. There's simple and there's compound, and I'll cover compound in uh, another video. Now um, before we really dig into it, let's talk about another term which is measures, which we have briefly talked about in another video, but let me cover it again. Um, notes are placed into um, small blocks of time which are called measures, and the way that measures are divided on the staff is with these vertical lines, although those aren't exactly vertical. but um, each one of those is one measure, and each measure takes up the same amount of time rhythmically. And uh, sometimes measures are referred to as bars. I'll put that here as well. So if I say bar or measure, those are synonymous. They mean exactly the same thing. And let's talk a little bit about what is involved in simple meter and time signatures. So the time signature, in a similar way, to how a key signature tells you what the key is, the time signature tells you what the meter is in a piece of music. There's always two numbers in a time signature. There's a top number and there's a bottom number. That top number indicates the amount of beats per measure. Beats per measure. And that number can really be any number. The um, Whenever I ask students what does a time signature mean, usually they'll give me this answer, but they won't give me the answer for what happens on the bottom, which is really important. And that bottom is the beat value. So without that beat value, uh, for those of you who know algebra very well, without having that bottom number, it would be like trying to solve that equation. X equals what? And you can't solve that without having any more information. You need to have some more information, which is the beat value here. And what I mean by beat value is it can be quarter note, half note, eighth note, etc. What value of what rhythmic value of note actually constitutes a beat? Now let me go ahead and erase this and give you an example of something that's in simple meter. Um, if I write a four on top and a four on bottom, that's a very common time signature actually it specifically is known as common time because it happens so commonly. And in 4-4 four, four time, there are four beats per measure and each one of those beat values is a quarter note. Um, the, the top number is easy because it just tells you how many there are in each measure, but that bottom number, imagine it as a denominator in a fraction. So if we look at a four on the bottom of a fraction, we're looking at quarters. If you have an eight on the bottom, then you're looking at eighth notes. If you have a two on the bottom, you're looking at half notes. So four, four specifically means that there are four quarter note beats in each measure. Now that doesn't specifically mean that there are four quarter notes in each measure. It just means that there's the amount of time that it would take to perform four quarter notes. However many notes are in that measure doesn't really matter as long as it equals that same amount of time. Now what makes um, simple meter simple is that you can divide each one of the beats in half. So in 4-4 four, four time, let me erase that, in 4-4 four, four time we have four quarter note beats. So I'll write these one, two, three, four. And each one of those quarter notes can be chopped into half into eighth notes. So simple meter is just a meter where each one of the beats can be divided into exactly two halves. And then in compound meter, it's a little bit more complicated, hence the name compound. So basically, just to, to quickly summarize, uh, simple meter and time signature here is that uh, meter is a recurring pattern of strong and weak beats. 
and then um, top number indicates how many beats there are in each measure and the bottom number just as a denominator in a fraction tells you what the beat value is just made it fixed 